Call to prayer. That's it right there. Good. But yeah, it's busy in this area. I think we're in the uh, downtown area. Okay, guys, we are out of the market run. Getting some street scenes. Some of the street vibes. Let's say uh, the weather is great. What are you about to say? This area they expected the 30s, 40s, and 50s of the past century. Wow. Yeah, there's a, the history of Syria goes way back. Way back. That is one thing I read. A lot of history here. And driving here, the weather wasn't the greatest. I was a little nervous that uh, this was going to be a, a rainy tour, but no, the sun came out and the weather is basically perfect. Yeah, here goes some of the, the street scenes. For those of you all who've never been to Syria, you may have heard a lot of things about this country. Hopefully uh, this video has given you a, a little taste into, into this country. Oh, don't copyright me, YouTube. We're at a railway. Just want to get a quick shot. Don't copyright me, YouTube. And they got a uh, avenue right over there straight ahead. But I think they were in the downtown area. As we walk around, does it remind you of, for those of you who have traveled, does it remind you of anywhere else? If I told you, hey, I'm in Syria right now, would you believe me? Just a few questions to think about as we walk. Love this. Get mad at these guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they got a uh, TikTok out here. Oh, want to get something to eat or you're, you're good? I was just gonna maybe grab a shawarma. That's the best one. Oh, okay, perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wherever there's a line, wherever the locals go, this is uh. Grab a shawarma. Oh, wow. Oh. Damn, thank you. I was telling him uh, you got some competition because I had shawarmas in, in Lebanon. And so we're going to see the difference. Here you go, buddy. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go with the first bite and I'll give you the thing later. I'm going to get your re uh, reaction. <laughs> okay, let's do it. I'm not really a huge garlic person, so after this bite, I'll give you the, the, yeah, the garlic on top. I forgot what it's called. What's this called? A uh, garlic sauce. I mean, like a... The, Game two. Okay, creme doom, yeah. Creme too. Yeah, this this is very popular. You put the garlic at the end. Now, what's inside of you? Chicken, pickles, mm -hmm. more garlic sauce, pomegranate uh, sauce, uh, pomegranate plus is sorry, and uh, hot sauce. Okay. Yeah, this is different. This is different. I like it. I like it. Okay. This is different, different style, but it's delicious right here. Oh guys, yeah, that was a that was a good shawarma. Definitely, um, I think the it had hot sauce in it, right, or something. It had hot, it had hot sauce in it. Hot sauce. Yeah. Hot sauce and pomegranate uh, molasses. Yeah, that was uh, that was something that's different, but definitely delicious. And here goes this. Here goes this area. Now, you know, I have one more question for you about how um, the city really, you said it's on pause, how it wasn't as affected as much yeah. in the, during it the war. It affected by the war. And uh, 
this is this is the city since 2010. It's just uh, stopped in time. Yeah. Time stopped here in 2010. Uh, it didn't decline like other cities. It just kept the same level of life as in 2010, and still the same today. So you don't see any big uh, improvement, any big progress, but at the same time, no decline. Yeah. And I say it wasn't directly affected by the war because it was indirectly affected because, as you can imagine, the capital was the safest place in Syria. So, so many people fled uh, to the capital mm. and uh, started living here. Some of them uh, decided to just stay here forever. Yeah, I heard that uh, other places were affected more. <laughs> Hello, hello! <laughs> Shout out to them. We are in Batuma, Damascus. Welcome. <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. Thank you. Sudan. <laughs> <laughs> I think you. Uh, they think you're from Sudan. Oh yeah, they think I'm from Sudan. They were saying there's some um, Sudanese population yeah. here. It's so, okay. It's, it's the smile that counts. It's the smile, the energy, the friendliness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, normally when I travel, people, maybe because they don't expect to see an American, let alone a black American, so they think I'm either from Nigeria, South Africa, Sudan, Uganda, and Kenya. That's what I usually get. All right, guys. Uh, I think my camera's about to be done done, so if anything else happens, I'll turn the camera back on, but in the meantime, let me uh, turn this off and save what little battery I have. Guys, the day's not over. We're at this uh, alleyway. I'm about to grab a quick snack real quick. Some of you all may recognize this. Some of you all may not. These are the these are the best. Look at that. You go down there. And they go down there. Oh yeah, but these are these small spots are the best. So basically thyme with other herbs and sesame seeds and olive oil. Oh yeah, I'll take tomatoes there. Yeah, yeah, and dora. Guys, don't judge me. You know I love food. Oh, sorry, I tried this out. Uh, kind of looks like a shawarma, but it's not. There we go. It's nice and hot and toasty. Yeah, it's nice and warm. It sort of tastes like a pizza. It sort of tastes like a pizza. Nice healthy snack, guys. And it must be good because uh, usually if the locals are there, if it's busy, then uh, it's most likely a good place. Had to grab a second one, guys. It's really good.
If you smoke shisha, you probably know what's going on. I don't smoke shisha, but it's very popular in this region. Uh, first of all, you have to get it going. Okay. Uh, you have to really, really breathe in. So, something like that. Okay. See, more smoke. Now, since we got it going, you take small puffs and uh, space them. Mm. Because if you take continuous puffs, mm. like without spacing them, uh, this is not gonna last you for ten minutes. Oh, okay. Uh, if you if you uh, space your puffs, it can last you like a couple of hours. Uh, for anyone who, who's interested in knowing, uh, it's packed with tobacco. But the, what gives it the taste and the flavor uh, is a honey-like substance uh, mixed with the flavor. Of course, the Arabic name is Masel. Masel roughly translate, translates to uh, something mixed with honey. Mm -hmm. but of course, uh, maybe in the beginning they mixed it with honey, but now they just add the sugar-like, honey-like substance yeah. Yeah, and the flavor. All right, for those of you guys who smoke shisha, there you go. I'm going to stick with the tea right here. Guys, we're here for the main event over there. He's getting ready, prepared, storyteller. Just real quick, because I'm probably not gonna film this part, but can you just give a brief, like what, 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 what's this guy do? Okay, so storytelling is one of the old forms of entertainment before invention of radios, music, uh, on discs or whatever, on TV or theater or whatever, uh, not theater, of course. Uh, this tradition dates back to the late 19th century, around 1890, 1880. It's basically an old guy who uh, comes and narrates a story, ending it every day with a cliffhanger so that people come the next day, order shisha, drink tea, so that they bring more business to the. Oh, okay. Are you starting? <laughs> إذا طلب الأعداء أثر بمكبة نجوت وقد غطى على أثري الجهد ولو شاء رمحي شد كل كتيبة ويطلعني